someone left a comment in one of my previous videos asking if it was possible for Mid Journey to convert a sketch into a logo. Essentially, if you have an idea and you're able to sketch it out, can Mid Journey recognize that and turn it into a logo? So this video is me attempting to do exactly that. Let's see how well it goes. So Mid Journey has a feature in which you can upload a photo and then use that as a reference. So the first thing that I'm going to do is send that photo as a message to the Mid Journey bot so that we have the image in the chat window that we are using and then we can get its URL. So that's the image. When you click open in browser, it's going to give you a URL and we copy that URL so that we can use it within the prompt that we're going to give Mid Journey. So let's copy that. So we type imagine and then it will ask us for the prompt. We'll give it the, the URL as part of the prompt. And then the prompt itself will say design a logo for a fish food company called Fish Pond. And then we'll attach additional parameters like vector illustration, hyper realistic, super real. This is just a bit of history from me knowing what to ask for, but let's see what it does. Okay, so basically it's given me what looks like a sketch. It's basically taken the image that I've given it and tried to reinterpret it using the prompt that I've shared with it. Uh, so far it looks, it looks decent. It looks like it's trying to create something. It's essentially still a sketch. It's flipped it around a little bit, but it's something similar to the fish that we have used. So that's one of the ways in which you can use Mid Journey. You can basically tell it in reference to this image that I've just shared, create something new. So let's keep going. So I decided to add 3D render and give it specific colors to use. Uh, in this case, blue, green, and white. And then I decided that maybe it would look really good on a black background. And let's just see how it interprets this. I keep making this mistake where I do not tell it to imagine. And so it just, the message does nothing. So I need to copy the whole thing again and then include the prompt imagine. So it's, it's, a, it's an annoying mistake I keep making. All right, and we can see that it's actually now beginning to look a little bit like a logo. It's using some of the colors. The background has become black. Uh, it's, it's, it's looking like it's trying. So still, again, using the reference image that I just shared with it. And that's what it looks like. So that, that looks decent. That looks like a really hand, nice vector illustration of a fish based off of the image that we sent. It's kind of a bit shaky. Like if you look at the shape of the fin, it's a bit different, especially the tail. It's a bit different, but it's trying to imagine based on the image that we've shared with it. And I think it's doing a pretty decent job. Uh, so then I decided that maybe I should try to get a variation of the fourth image because that looks closest to the kind of logo that I have in mind. Okay, so those are variations of the fourth image that I selected. As you can see now, it's beginning to give us a little bit more options that have this sort of circular bottom with some text towards it. Um, kind of getting there, but let's see how far we can push it. Okay, so we copy the same prompt again, ask it to reimagine it. And this time we're going to add a little bit of a variance. We're going to remove the name so that the text doesn't confuse it. And let's see what it ends up doing. And then we're going to get the same prompt again and try to create something else. So I, what I, in this case, I also wanted to see what can it create if we did not give it a reference image. And you'll see how I used that later. Okay, that looks very, very interesting. Um, that, looks, that, looks, that looks pretty good, actually. I like that level of detail that it's beginning to throw in. It's kind of losing clarity from what our initial fish looked like but I kind of like the direction it's going. So let's see how far it can go. Now, these are logos that it has generated purely based on text without any reference images. As you can see, it's really good at imagining certain things, but it's absolutely horrible at trying to um, create text. So the text that Mid Journey generates does not make sense at all. But the logos look amazing. These are logos that I could repurpose and maybe play around with for an actual project. Uh, so I'm just going to ask it again to just 
regenerate those images because I want to see what else it gives me. I want to see what other options it throws at me just so that I have a little bit of variety. And then for this, I'm going to see if I can select one of the images, the one that's closest to what the original image looked like. Um, okay, it's, it's creating additional images. I don't quite like some of the ideas, but I think that those two, basically those eight samples are something that I can work with. That looks decent. Um, yeah, that looks decent. So I'm going to give, I'm going to ask it to upscale the fourth one on that second batch and also upscale the first one on the first batch. And I'm going to use these two upscaled images as references for the next batch of images that I want to work with. Okay, so these are the two upscaled images. They look really good. Like, I mean, Mid Journey is doing an absolutely incredible job of visualizing these fish-based logos. And they look amazing. I love them. I think it's something that you can start playing with. I think it's something that you could begin experimenting with in case you had a client who had a fish pond or a fish food farm or a fish farm, whatever it is. Um, but I like the idea that I can use this as a reference for something. What I want to do next is now get the, uh, the URL of those two images and then mash it up with the original sketch that I had done. So we'll do imagine the prompt. And in this case, we shall copy the URL of this original image, insert it there as the first image prompt. And then I'll come to the second image that I want to mash up. I'll choose the second one and then I'll right click and copy the URL and then put that as the second prompt. So now we have, at that point, we have two images. We have the sketch that we created and then we have this sort of hyper-realistic logo that Midjourney has created without any reference to our sketch. So that, that first prompt is just a mashup of the two. Let's see what it does. And then the second prompt is now going to be uh, basing on the additional text that we had given it, which is basically a designer logo for fish food, blah, 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 blah. And let's see what it does. So those first results don't look so good. It's just, I just basically put two images together and told it to mash it up. And it's not that exciting, uh, but it's capable of doing that. Um, yeah, that looks like really, good shading but absolutely horrible drawing so we'll move on to the next one okay that's starting to look very interesting it's at 93 percent rendered oh wow okay i like this i i i like this i know it's deviating more and more from our original image uh but the combination of the two is giving some very interesting results specifically with the design of the fish and the possible layouts of the logos. So it's not a one-to-one -one match mashup of the sketch and the high resolution additional logo it generated, but it's a very interesting take on a possible design that we could use. So let's copy the second image and let's see what else it can generate. Let's copy the second um, hyper-realistic logo and replace the URL. We'll copy and paste the entire prompt and then replace the URL and see what it does. Right click, copy that. So just so you know, the, my application, my screen recorder is not recording the right clicks, but I have copied and pasted the image source, um, the image URL, the same way that I did the first time. I hope it's, I hope it's easy to track. In case you don't get that, just click on open in browser. It will open in the browser. You copy that URL and paste it back here. All right, so once again, I just entered the text without giving it, without saying imagine. So it's just treating it as text. So it has just shown me the exact same image. Uh, let's do that again with the imagine text. Okay. Um, that's looking pretty interesting. That's actually looking better than the first batch of the mashup. So I, I really like the direction that this is going. It looks really, really promising. 
And again, this is just a way for you to just, you know, imagine, visualize, create, mash up, um, sort of like very early stage brainstorming. I wouldn't use this at any point in time for a final design, uh, but it's really good for sort of mentally seeing the possibilities, actually for physically seeing the possibilities without worrying too much about how much time you're going to spend sketching back and forth. Obviously, if you're a good artist that can sketch out concepts very quickly and visualize them very quickly and lock down an idea very easily, you don't need to go through all of this. But again, this entire exercise took about 30 minutes. And so I think it's, it's good for evaluating possibilities, basically. So let's take a look at some of these sketches. Okay. Okay. I like that second one. The second and the first look actually really good. And it looks like something that I could, you know, play around with. So let's keep pushing. Let's keep, uh, so let's change the prompt to a white background with some bit of red colors, yellow colors, and green colors. And let's see what it does. Okay. Huh. <laughs> that, oh, wow. That actually looks pretty good. Like I could see myself properly playing with one of these. Now, the thing that, you know, you, it's, it's very hard to tell whether it's completely reimagined or it's just done its own stuff. But we've gone through a process and the assumption is that there's some sort of reference to the original image that we used and the new, uh, to the original sketch that we created and this new um, fully generated image. And then it's mashed it up to this. It's hard to tell whether this is a proper amalgamation, whether it's an actual combination of the two. But I like the process. I like where it's taken us. I like the direction that it's taken us. And I think that it's, this could be a very useful artistic exploration tool, um, especially if you have an idea that you think could work for something. All right, so let's upscale a few of these and let's see if these are logos that we can actually play with. I like the... Actually, no, let's upscale all of the first three and see how well they come out. All right, the first one is here. That does not look bad at all. I like the vibrancy of the colors. Seriously, I like the vibrancy of the colors. I mean, I could have, we could have told you to generate any fish and it probably would have come up with these. But the fact that we started with a sketch kind of makes me think that maybe it's working with our sketch. I don't know, there's just been too many iterations. But I think it's a good starting point. I think it proves that we can actually use Midjourney to use a sketch that we have created and through very careful prompt engineering, sort of take it in the direction that we want to go. And it can give us an output that we can use. I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments. So yeah, um, that's it. Very rough, very quick video. This entire thing took 35 minutes to put together. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.